And... It's really the end of the fight, because why not? I mean, there's only... It's The sad thing is we only really edited out two minutes of that. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's the same. It's two minutes that we've already spent four minutes on. Yeah. Uh, we've spent a lot of time on that fight. And I, I kind of wanted to keep this cutscene in, in case it was unique, but I don't think it is. It's just the same egg carrier. Yeah. But because Knuckles goes off in his own direction, I figured it was worth keeping in. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the cutscenes are mostly the same, though there are, you know, some unique ones like Knuckles on his floating island. Yeah. Tails outside of Speed Highway. Behold my flying fortress! Oh, wait, that's different form is his uh, floating masterpiece. Yes! See, it, it, this was totally worth it. Yeah, totally worth it. To see the inconsistencies of the story. The many inconsistencies. If they really wanted to, if they could have just copied and pasted the cutscenes. So I can only assume that all the changes are intentional. I hope all of the changes are intentional. Either that, or they just stop paying attention to their own writing, which is also a possibility. We'll take care of everything here. Let's move. I've got something I've got to take care of, namely finding the rest of the Master Emerald. All right, can we go get... Yeah, I think next we have to go through the jungle. Yeah. Yay! Because up next is your favorite level. What? Lost World. Oh my god, I have to do Lost World? All right, I've got to find Big's house. It's over to the right there. To the right? Yeah, to the, well, the way you were going. Straight ahead. Whee! I think it should, yeah, it's right here. Alright, there is a ledge above his house that we need to climb up to. Not that I can see a damn thing up here. There it is. And I walked through it. Now you've got fighting gloves. Fighting gloves. Store up power. Hold down the action button. Now you can do the maximum heat knuckles attack. The maximum heat knuckles attack. Ah! So I think that was kind of. Uh, version of the uh, light speed attack. Yeah, because it's... It doesn't do anything on its own. Yeah. There has to be enemies around for it to uh, target. And, for the record, this is Big the Cat's house. This is where that fat fuck lives. Kind of a nice house. Hey, look! A random emblem! Alright, now where's the Lost World? Um, somewhere in the middle. I think it's in this one. Although, they, they just, I just remembered that there is one other thing. Um, you'll want to put water. Because there's something else that we have to do before we can go to the Lost World. What's that? It's at the top of the ladder. Oh, yay. Monkey. I just keep running until I hit canopy bottom. Pretty much. I mean, as, as long as there's not a path directly underneath you, you can just run right across the treetops. Alright, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh, no, it's back there. Or you can go this way. Yeah, I'll go this way. Now I just gotta find where the, uh, 
Where do I have to set the monkey down? It's in the back. Or the front. Um, I don't know which side you're actually on. But it's right at the top of one of the stairs. Not there. there right go. there. Alright, there's one key. Where's the other one? Um, it's in the jungle. You'll just need to get two of them. statues. The door to the past. To the right. Where are you, key? And I think it's, um, like there's another hidden area off to the left. Somewhere. Yeah, right here. There it is. And, hmm, that looks surprisingly like we should dig there. Yep. A silver statue, it looks like a key. I wonder why. They couldn't be what I was just looking for. Yes, Gracie. And back up the stairs, back up the stairs. This is the only thing that I can remember that you need two keys for. Oh, there's uh, echidna pictures on the plates there. Oh. All right, I I fell through and it did nothing. And we get the Lost World, my favorite level ever. But this one's not as bad because you can fly. Yeah, it, it's all just in the. Uh platform section, which is pointless for knuckles because you can just climb anywhere. Looks like there aren't any at the ground level, unless maybe they're in the other room. Yeah. Get a look around. I mean, personally, the way I do this, I just fly around in circles and see where the radar picks up. somewhere in the middle of the room. Maybe on this platform. Isn't that energy? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. No. Um, I guess it doesn't block you. Yeah, that's it. I can't dig, so yeah. it's gotta be under the platform. Yep, right there. There's one. And there's the third one, but you don't have to find them in order. So you're somewhere over there, aren't you? Can't yeah. see a damn thing. Yeah, this is ridiculously pointless. All the uh, games use like the same basic engine, pretty much, just focusing on different aspects. No tails had more of a speed, and Knuckles has the straight up exploration. I keep forgetting that I can punch things with knuckles. You even have that in your time? Yeah. You can either inside the head or inside the tunnel. not helping me because I don't... I can't dig there. You should be able to. There, there we go. It wouldn't let me dig too close to the platform. Alright. 
so. This is where we started, right? Yeah. This way. You know, while, while we're just basically flying around, how exactly did that come about? Nope. The echidna getting the ability to glide. Are they like flying squirrels? I like... have no idea what the hell an echidna is supposed to be. This is where I just came from, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it flew off towards um, the other way. Right there! There we go! Yeah, I have no idea what an echidna is, or why it can dig, or glide, or fly, or... Clip through the floor. Clip through the floor. Or why it would be a guardian of a giant fucking emerald. None of this makes any sense to me. I mean, I remember when Sonic and Knuckles came out, and I kept trying to look up what, what an echidna was. This was back, you know, long before the days of Wikipedia. Right. Where am I? So trying to find this shit out this was, you know, strange. damn near impossible. But I guarantee now that we've talked about it, there's going to be like a dozen comments about it. As to, hey, I know what an echidna is. Yeah, it's basically just another type of hedgehog. I'm, you know, a... You know, cryptozoologist, and I know everything about every animal on the planet, and you're all retarded, and... Uh, well, if you don't mind me saying so, I happen to be an echidnaologist, and you're wrong. <laughs> Get out of here with your cryptozoology. <laughs> what was it that we saw earlier? It was the, the screen cap from... Uh, 4chan of... Allow me to present a point. Oh, I've got to look it up now. It's gonna bother me. We po we just posted it to Luke's profile. Yeah, it was like allow me to present an argument, of achievements, a fair point. <laughs> fair point, sir. Ah. Uh. And the chat. This is the first time we really see the Chow moving. Like we saw her in one of Sonic. We saw them in one of Sonic, but they were dead. Yeah. I must do something quickly. I must do something quickly, as opposed to I must do something slowly. Oh, here we go. Slowly. And now where do we go? Back from the past for the second time, as Knuckles. Knuckles is getting most of these flashbacks. Yeah. What? I'm back in front of the altar. This is beginning to blow. It's beginning to blow my mind. <laughs> Wait a minute. I remember the broken pieces of the master emerald. I have Oh, that mission that I was on, you know. That thing I was doing. That's it for Knuckles, right? No. No. He's got one more level. You know the one. Oh, God. Yeah, you know the one. Damn it. Your other favorite level. Bask in my glory. Complete. I have created a giant green geo. Oh, nope. I need to find the remaining pieces, wherever they are. Wherever they are. Look. Oh, it's, it's not foreshadowing at all, is it, Steve? That's where the rest of the pieces must be. The Master Emerald can tell you where its other pieces are. It, it is now also a uh, magic crystal. It is. Well, I mean, I can do the same thing. If they cut, if someone cut off my arm, I'd be able to tell you where it is. And there goes Gamma. Isn't that one of Eggman's robots? 
I know. I'll follow it back to Eggman's base. I'll follow it back to Eggman's base. So now we gotta go. My face isn't creepy at all, is it, Steve? We gotta go to Eggman's base because it's in the jungle, right? Yeah. That's where it's, it's. That's where that little bastard's leading off to. You know, the place that we were just at, but when we came back to the future, we were here somewhere else. We've got to go back to 1885. I remember reading somewhere that if you were, if you were to remake Back to the Future today, we would be going back to 1985. Because <laughs> the the passage of time was the same. It's, I think they started off in 1985 and they went back to. 1955. It was 30, like 30 years difference back when, yeah. when his parents were kids. And when I read that, they're like, "Yeah, we'd be going back to the same point in time." And I, I, that made me kind of cry. And the joyous part about Knuckles is we can pretty much skip the entire damn section here, just fly over the stage. Yeah. We're at 16 minutes. I don't... Think we can finish this in this episode, or... I don't remember oh. how much is after this level. Hmm. There's level... Um, Time to make a, house a bunch call. of cutscenes, I think. Do you want to cut it here, then, just to be on the, the safe side? Yeah, I think we could. Okay, and we'll just have Knuckles 4 be the last of it after this... continuously long cutscene? Yeah. Is this the first time we've actually seen it lift up from the jungle? I think so. Because every other time we've seen it, it's already been in the air. Yeah. So, yay for being unique. And the egg carrier. Alright, yeah, we'll be back.